Silence in communication is probably the most powerful seducer that there is. People are talking, talking, talking. You know, men think that the more they talk, the faster that she's gonna spread her legs for you. It doesn't work that way, okay? It's the silence, it's the pictures. If you're talking, she's not able to really make the pictures on her own in ways that she prefers. So when you're silent about stuff and you have that depth, you let her feel it. You, you feel that the void of the universe, that it's a fulfilling like, whoo, okay? And you're grounded and you communicate with a woman and you're looking at her directly in the eye. She feels that, you know? And time, most people think that time, it's the lack of time which really creates the seduction in a woman's mind. Do you seduce the woman for the most part? Yes or no? No. Nah. A few, a few moments. You set the interpretation, you set the inspiration, you get her mind going there if you know how to you know, put on some uh, light sexual innuendos, get her thinking. But for the most part, she's gonna do it to herself. She's gonna be like, that guy was really interesting. He, wasn't, he didn't wait around, he actually said, well, it was nice to meet you, walked off, said something, and she's like, oh. So in her mind, it ticks. One of the things I do at, at work, because I work you know, Wednesday, Thursday for sure, and then I go in other times. You know, there's girls that you know, I, I always flirt with, and I walk them out to their car, and they're like, when are you working next? I go, next week. And I go, doesn't that suck? They're like, what? I go, you got to wake a whole week to see me next. That's got to <laughs> suck. Because I know you're making those pictures in your mind, right? And they always laugh and stuff like this. But you're just putting that suggestion in, lightly. Okay, but she does it in the off time. So stop thinking the more you talk to her, the more you're hanging around her, the more <laughs> you're leveraging yourself to get laid. You know, I know guys that are, that are super, super powerful and strong that, that have a quick interaction. And all of a sudden, boom, they leave, and the girl's like, where, where, where'd that guy go? You know, especially in the strip club, where, who's that? Okay, well, that was my friend. Oh, he said that he, you were going to give him his number. I go, did he now? All right. You know, because I know he's doing what he's doing. It's a very powerful thing to do. You know, so, so be more exciting. How do you be more exciting with a woman? Well, first of all, you create the life you want to create. You know, you decide for yourself to raise the bar and to live an exciting life. And know that living an exciting life, one that you have to go above and beyond, is, is a sacrifice. You have to sacrifice stuff. Being a man, you have to learn to sacrifice. What are the things that you're going to sacrifice? Sometimes it's friends, TV. Are you going to respect yourself? Like, what do you do just as a base line to be healthy? put out the best energy. Like I, I had to play my full stack when I was there. I was like, okay, I gotta take care of working out. Got done, worked out, got it down. Eating, eating equals good energy if you eat right, okay? Learning about stuff. I had to do what I had to do to place the best hand because I wasn't the most prettiest kid. I mean, the, I would consider myself uh, brutally rugged. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, I'm not a pretty man. You know, it's one of those things, but women, appreciate that ability to go through and get grinded out because it, it, it chisels away you. It brings you grounded into that masculine energy. Like I, you'd be amazed if you came to my house, like how many women will climb up in bed that are welcome at my house anytime. They'll climb up in bed and just like come in the bed and they'll just put their head on my chest and, and, and I'm cool with it. I'm not, I don't look for sex all the time, okay? But they're just like, I, but they, and they all say the same thing. They it just, I, you, ground me you center me because they don't know what's going on in real life you know women can be grounded in their own nature but with all the wishy-washy guys that are of the you know the, the 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 men that are out there these days they're all over the place so a good strong masculine man who knows what he wants who has a high level of uh, expectation for himself is going to probably have a high level of expectation for the person that he's with Does that make sense and that's what they really want you know, one of the best things, like money, eh, money's cool, it, it attracts women, okay? I always say, you know, if you wanna, be, you wanna get women, become a drug dealer, become a millionaire, or be really good looking, okay? Other than that, there's one other level. 